Good afternoon. It is exactly four o'clock and you know what happens on Monday at four o'clock. We talk about family civility. I am Dr. Rebecca Finlayson Harper. I am so excited for all of you to be on the show again today. Please share, have a watch party, like, get it all out there and respond because we have such a good topic, a topic that is personally close to my heart. Um, and we'll go into that later, but it is definitely um a version of family civility and a type of family that we do need to address if we are going to truly practice family civility. And I couldn't ask for better, <laughs> the most amazing people to actually be on the show today. And we have Dr. Penny Heffelbauer, I hope I pronounced that right, Great. and Dr. Robin Lococo. Now, Dr. Heffelbauer, and of course, I decided to take the harder name, Dr. Penny, <laughs> I think you're actually a professional humanitarian, um, you know, has her doctorate of philosophy in humanities from the United Graduate College and Seminary International. She's worked with challenged champions and heroes. She's a caregiver, um, a power educator for special needs, a high school independent study aid. She has been in the front line, the middle line, the supervisory late line, now mm -hmm. having with special needs and um, exceptional and children and adults with exceptionalities. Mm -hmm. She is the vice president of communications and development for Challenge Champions and Heroes, and she is also she's done mission trips to Germany. I mean, she's had a life that I dream of and hope to achieve as well. And of course, we have Dr. Robin Lococo, who has worked as an administration for 25 years with I Change Nations. Her most recent vision or passion is to bring honor and recognition to the differently abled people in the world with her organization called Challenge Champions and Heroes, founded in November 2015. As part of this, a part of this vision, she's also started an awareness campaign showcasing life is valuable and every life is valuable and created a national day celebrating the differently abled on July 29th every year. Her education, she is also a doctor. Um, Dr. Lococo is a nationwide work, includes work as a conjunction, the Congressional Prayer Conference in Washington, D.C., appointed executive director of the North American Division of the IPI Interfaith Peace Building Initiative um, in um, Ethiopia. She's board member of I Change Nations. She is the international ambassador for Golden Rule. Again, a well accomplished doctor and woman and you know what I love is to see accomplished women with passion and care for those who are just you know we say different I love how you said that and I mm -hmm. want to welcome you officially to the show thank you so much for being on it thank you for having thank you, Rebecca thank you I love that title differently able because they're no less able than us in fact, right. I think we're all differently abled in some way because we have the visually differently abled yeah. and the non-visual. You know, sometimes I like to use the word exceptionalities. They're exceptional mm -hmm. and they just have need exceptional assistance. You know, and we look at equality. We look at, you know, equality versus equity. And that's also a very passionate thing. So help me know how not to make a mistake and and <laughs> and many of us and i want you to sort of take on what is albionism and what is the best way to treat differently abled people so that we don't put them down but treat right. them as equals and valued lives right well that's the thing we believe that everyone's created in the image of god mm -hmm. and that everybody has a gift and talent within them they're special no matter what. So with Challenge Champions and Heroes, well, we like to bring that to everybody's attention. That's what we do is we bring the honor and recognition to the differently abled or the special needs people of the world. And of course, uh, the caregivers, we don't wanna forget them. That's the heroes in our wow. Challenge Champions and Heroes. 
That's amazing. That yeah. You're perfectly right. You are right. Is the challenged heroes of, you know, the people. Because I, I look at it and I say it does take a special person. And I look at my daughter's school. Uh -huh. and, and, I, and I see those kids. It takes a different personality to who latch on to my daughter and want to be. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, and, you know, Dr. Rebecca, I, um, I can relate to that because like I was telling you earlier this morning, um, I grew up with a sister that was uh, brain damaged by, from radiation. And I didn't know it then, but when I, when I grew up that I would be a special education uh, paraeducator um, you know, for disabled um, individuals. But growing up with my sister gave me the, the patience and the understanding to, to work with these uh, mm. individuals. And, right. and it just really worked. <laughs> Which is amazing because you basically feel, and I said this, and funny enough, I said it in a class one day and I got chastised. I said, I did, like the teacher really, I was traumatized, honestly. She was just like reminded, and this was in Canada, and she reminded me of one of my Jamaican teachers, which really traumatized me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was really funny because I said, I am blessed to have my daughter with autism. I feel blessed every day to have her. And she chewed me out, saying, oh. I'm a social service worker. There's no way I should put my own beliefs on parents. And not every parent believes that way. And I said, well, they should. No. Yes, they should. Yes. Uh, and but she actually did that to me. Oh, listen. Wow. Um, be, even though my sister can't read or write, she has been such a blessing to people by just being who she is. And, you know, it goes back to the heart mm -hmm. and everybody has feelings and emotions and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And my, one of the things my, my little sister would do, which we, she tell people, she says, hi, my name is Alice. What's your name? And she would put out <laughs> her hand, you know, and then, at, like, at, if we're at a restaurant or something, she'd say, I'm going to pray for you. Aww. Yeah. And, you know, just simple things like that. She touched a lot of lives because of it. Right. And she's special. She's very special. So that's part of our vision is just to show that love and respect and encouragement to everybody. You know, yeah. we want to yeah. we want to live the golden rule to where. You know, treat others the way you want to be treated. Exactly. And, you know, it's so true. It is so. And that's where we talk about Albionism because. Yeah. And I want to say <laughs> we have our we have a certain person watching us today. I <laughs> see that. Everybody. As I say, the man who not only sees the light in us, but ignites the light in us. That's cool. Uh, that's a very good question because you did say that. And I'm and you did make a point. Is albinism. Sometimes yeah. and I when I studied albinism and really knew what it was, I was guilty of it. I used to feel sorry for my daughter. Um, I used to feel like oh my gosh, she's not going to have, you know, I have to work harder to make her, you know, I, I didn't appreciate her talents and I thought her life would be so different. Yeah. Um, I look at my sons and their dyslexia and it, it, I cried when I realized that was what I was doing. I, yeah. I, somebody who has been such an advocate mm -hmm. for my kids and the exceptionalities I was actually practicing albinism. Can you explain to the viewers what is albinism and sort of explain? I became this awful person for about an hour and realized yeah. that well, I need to change. We have all these different titles for special needs, uh, differently abled, you know, definitely. And today, calling somebody disabled is a no no. So. But as we, we use the differently abled or in our name, we say challenge champions mm -hmm. because we believe they are champions. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. they might have different ways of doing things, but they're just like everybody else. They want to yeah. be loved just like anybody else and they can grow and do 
you know, there's no limit to what they can do when they're encouraged the right way. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And that's, and that's what I did with my kids. Yeah. You know, um, there wasn't a lot of education in Jamaica and I'm, and I'm asking these questions on a personal note because I do want um, people in developing countries like in the Caribbean and Africa and Latin America um, to see that no matter what we can get the information, especially now with Google. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I was, Mackenzie was diagnosed with autism and I got, and I got it as a death sentence, you know, the death sentence, oh, your child has autism. Yeah. And, you know, and this is a time where she was screaming for an hour straight and what are you going to do? And there was no information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people usually fear what they don't understand. That's why when they see somebody that's a little different that they, they're kind of a little standoffish at first. Mm -hmm. But we want we want to break those stigmas. Yes, yes. And this that, is that's our heart to mm -hmm. be inclusive and <laughs> and that's part and then, and so what you're doing with your organization? Tell me more about what is Challenge Champions and Heroes. Well, mainly what our our goal is is to bring honor recognition to you know the differently abled or the special needs people of the world, and we do that through an honor system. So we'll give out uh, certificates, pins, and medallions, and you can just see how they light up. You know, mm -hmm. they, they feel that being special at the events. Yeah. Yeah. So and what is the system that requires, because I know people are watching, especially um, in my home country, that is probably, uh -huh. because there's so many challenged champions mm -hmm. and heroes in Jamaica there that are not being recognized. Yeah, there's actually a, a billion um, special needs people in the world. And mm -hmm. so there's like one out of seven is special needs. So most mm -hmm. everybody we know knows somebody that, you know, we can rise up and, and honor and show the appreciation of what they can do, the gifts and talents that they have. Yeah. Here's another joke. Okay. Our Special Olympic team yes. uh -huh, from Jamaica actually wins more medals and you know our Jamaican track and field Olympic team is huge. Yeah. Well, we win more medals in our with our special Olympics team than we do with our other the, our regular Olympic yes, team. I believe it. That's no yeah. joke. Yes. yes. In fact, my, my, my little... cousin is on the team. <laughs> yeah. My Can my sister, you? my sister Alice was on the special Olympics swimming team. And man, she she went for it. She, yeah, yeah. Backstroke yeah. was her thing. <laughs> That's and then share about Ian a little bit, Penny. Okay, we uh, one of the persons uh, we've we've honored over two hundred people since twenty fifteen uh, individuals, and uh, we're in ten different countries. But one of the individuals that we've honored uh, was a young man that was born with spina bifida, wow. and that's a, a, a disease that you're born with and your, your spinal cord isn't connected. Fused, right. Fused, right. It's not formed. And so um, and there's no correction to it. I mean, you can have surgeries and stuff, but it's the way you were born. Anyway, um, he grew up and uh, went from um, crutches to leg braces to a uh, wheelchair. Uh, and is now uh, in his late 20s, but he's in university in Spain, and he's on a national uh, wheelchair basketball team, and yeah. they, they won the championship cup wow. this last year. And he's also getting ready, once the coronavirus thing lifts, to go to Special Olympics this summer. Amazing. And yep. we honor him because, see, he didn't get up. And it's just like your daughter mm -hmm. and anybody else. They keep going and they are somebody and they are special and we love them. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm actually sending the link to this show to an amazing woman in Jamaica. She is head. So we have one department in the ministry, in our ministry. 
for special mm -hmm. for challengely abled families for challengely abled p um kids one mm, and okay. this one woman <laughs> heads the whole department for all the children in jamaica so you're oh. still one out of seven and we have 4.2 million people yeah oh, so that's well, quite a bit hard. And she doesn't rest. And her name is Mrs. Guthrie Gale. And I just want to say hello to her. And I just was sharing it to her because she makes me cry every time yeah. I'm with her because she loves every ch It's her children. She's a grandma, she says. Yeah. Her parents so are definitely a hero. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's, that's amazing. Those are, but those stories are not unique. They're not right you know, you're doing the numbers of the one out of seven but when you do that you're you know we speak about and this is where we're looking at albinism is that we'll put this one young man on a poster and say well look what he can do despite and that is albinism mm -hmm. you know where we say he's achieving that or your sister's achieving that despite the challenge yes. when yeah. they're capable th all they did was receive the same opportunities. Right, right, that's right. right. You and know? So that's what we're doing with our awareness campaign. So, and, uh, this is, and so tell us more about the campaign. Well, I created that in honor of my sister, Deborah Marie Mosier. Uh, July 29th is the day that we celebrate. That's actually her birthday. But she passed, she passed away when she was three from cerebral palsy. And she would have been older than me. I never got a chance to, to meet her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always wonder what my life would have been like, how different it would have been if I would have had a, a special needs person in the family, you know, especially mm -hmm. that my, my mother passed away when I was very young. So it would have been just me and my dad. It would, it would have been totally different. But anyway, uh, creating my national day, uh, what we want to do on July 29th, every year we're going to celebrate special needs people. So we're asking anyone that has a special needs family member or a friend or knows a caregiver, a hero, yeah. that they share on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. So they can share a story or a quote or anything they want just a picture you know stating who they are and we want to get that out there throughout the whole world so we're yeah. going to do that with our national day every year that's fantastic and recognizing yeah they're unsung heroes they really they do it for the love they really don't do it yeah. for the glamour and they no. arrive every day and i know dr Cliff, dr rivers is saying when we're coming to jamaica well jamaica is officially open by the way Oh, oh yay. Yay. So Let's we go. Can go anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. actually funny because Dr. Um, Mrs. Guthrie is like, how are you doing? I'm going to watch. <laughs> oh, good. But we and but on the flip side, when we have these amazing women, uh -huh. unfortunately, because there's a lack of education, right. we have the other extreme. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, my past work. I have been to rural, con rural homes and I'm giving our goats in my agricultural, you know, when I was in farming and I would see a young lady not even at school. And I said, why isn't she at school? And she says, she, the teacher can't manage her. She has too many temper tantrums. She's, I mean, I was, as I, I knew ex when they described the day, I said, oh, I know those days. And, you know, she loves everything, the color green. And to get her to bathe, they have to give her KFC. And yeah. I was just like, and this, again, this comes with albionism. You know, you feel you have to bribe and do bad parenting. You excuse your bad parenting practices on, um, or you blame it on their disability. Yes. And, I, mm. and, you know, it's like, oh, wow. I, I, I can't deal with the one hour of screaming. Let me just give in instead of saying, no, despite you having these issues, we'll deal with them, but you still have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They know need boundaries. You, there are certain things. Exactly. And, yeah. you know, I, I will tell you, I, <laughs> I mean, it's very hard on me, but 
I got my daughter when I was, and, I, and we had a long discussion about it, but when I was bringing her up, my information and education on my daughter was I could take her off the spectrum. Mm. I could, with food, with nutrition, with behavioral modification program, and I did. And as far as everybody, she stopped the temper tantrums. She was the most polite child at school. She did all her schoolwork. What I did not know is her depression and anxiety level was so high, it was almost suicidal. Oh, wow. Because she was hiding who she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to stop. <laughs> and this is and it wasn't until so when we came to Canada now, she never she was sexually harassed at school she was bullied at school she like every harassment was there she had one best friend who stood up for her every day yeah she, it got to the point where she would eat lunch alone she just couldn't mm -hmm. handle it and we came to gym came to canada on the first day of school she found four girls to eat lunch with oh wonderful and she came home i i cry i i cry yeah. when i talk about it and mm -hmm. then we started, she stims, she, she runs, and then she started the meltdowns and everything came out. And I was like, oh, did I make a mistake coming to Canada? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then with education and, and, and going to workshops, and this is what I, I'm hoping that we're going to branch on, going to the workshops and learning more about autism and research now. Yeah. And I she, her true self was coming out. And that's when she started, could tell me, no, mommy, I, there are many times I just wanted to take my life because I, I wasn't being my true self. Right. Mm. Yes. And saying that now, this we wanna, is- We want to show that on. it's okay to be who you are. You know? Yeah, it, it yeah. is. And I think this is why it's such a, um, it's, so, it's, it's the non-visual. So let's talk about that, the non-visual yeah. challenge. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And and also, we want to be uh, Dr. Robin and I want to be there to um, to help other organizations and other individuals to not feel like they're all alone. You know, mm -hmm. we've both been caregivers and we've had special needs uh, siblings, and we want we want to be there and uh, and help out in any way we can even if it's listening, you know, mm -hmm. we want to be there and, and let them know they're not alone. Uh, well, thank you, Chris Shalom from Wales. Thank you. Wales. <laughs> That's amazing. And I, and I'm really appreciating what Chris is saying and we're getting so many lovely messages of it's okay to be who you are, yeah. and, you know, and, but this is a message for all of us. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. So, this well, is a for myself being uh, small in stature. I was born two pounds nine ounces, and I'm barely over a hundred pounds now, four nine. So growing up in school for me was tough because I was always teased and called names, and always looked at differently because I was so little. Mm -hmm. You know, I had both extremes to where people were very mean and rude with names. And then I had the extreme where people were like, oh, how cute, pat me on the head all the time, you know? Mm. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of know what it's like to be treated differently. Yeah. And is part of your campaign going into schools? Can schools contact um, your organization and say, how can we be better? Yeah, of course, yes. And that's yeah. a, So how do we contact you? Um, we're well, gonna talk some more, but I'd, Less those watching, right? Yeah. You can reach us through our website, www.challengechampionsandheroes.com. And then on there, you can fill out a contact form or you can email us directly. Uh, my email is robin at challengechampions at gmail.com. Excuse me, it's robin dot dot, yes. And then pennies is the same, penny dot. Challenge champions at gmail.com. Is that correct? Challenge heroes. Uh, no, we challenge got... champions and heroes. Chat, pardon? Challenge champions and heroes. Love it. I love it. Roll it one more time. <laughs> yes. Let's look it up one more time. 
Uh, okay, the heroes. I don't have the E in the heroes. It's, it's just different. H E R O S on the website. Ah, see my English spelling. I apologize. No, no, you're no. Correct. Actually, you're correct. I'm. I did it wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. I love. You know what? That's perfect. I yeah. love. See, my children would love it being all dyslexic, so they would. <laughs> be inclusive. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> but that, you know, let's talk about that. What do you see? I mean, you've been doing this for now five years, and what do you see in the field when it comes to how the visually um, differently abled and the non visually differently abled are treated? Do you find that there's a disparity? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think the major thing that I've been seeing mostly is how um, sheltered and hidden um, the special needs people are because you know their parents or don't know how to handle sometimes or they're just so protective that it's hard to even get close to show love and you know let them know it's okay to be who they are. So, and also family members shun them. Yeah, yeah, in a yeah. lot of countries, <laughs> we're finding that they don't have any different. Go ahead. They don't have any uh, different uh, accessibility for wheelchairs or anything like that. So yes, yeah. third world countries are pretty far behind in some areas. Way behind. Yes. Yes. Well, it, yes, it does take a lot of money to get the universal design going on. Yeah, um, it does. Yeah, I know one, the zoo, the National Zoo in Jamaica actually is completely wheelchair access everywhere. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, 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 I'm really thrilled. And it's also quiet. They don't have any loud noises. In fact, um, it was a lot of special needs children go to the zoo and request to go to the zoo and the mm -hmm. families because mm -hmm. of the, the, they're able to go around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They have and, a little uh, thing too. <laughs> na nature and animals and stuff is always good too for you know development and uh, just education in general. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And how does your organization do any advocacy or assist in advocacy in the countries that you work in to sort of help help the, your heroes in your countries at your ward right. to know how to advocate? Not at this moment, but that could be something for future on down the line that we might work on. Yeah. Um, the good news is the Family Civility Institute yeah. is offering <laughs> special needs, families okay. with special needs. And I will hope, I'm, I'm going to do this publicly, and I'm sorry to do this publicly, but I would love to call it the Challenge Champions and Heroes Civility Course. All right. Oh, hey. Absolutely. And you'll be and we'll Love invite it. you as professors and we'll get the advocacy. So we'll combine the mm. the whole thing with the social service work. And, yeah. and that's what the Family Civility Institute does is train family civility workers and they have to have a knowledge. Yes. In mm -hmm. anti oppressive and civility practices towards the differently abled, even calling them that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as opposed to, and we look at equity and not equality. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, yes. not all the families. You know, there's, and we have to look at that as well because I, that young lady I was telling you about, she was, she never left the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh. It hid her away, and then she was the best when it came to the good, the 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 goats because she related to the animals more than anybody. So yes. I said, well, see her profession, and I actually trained her. Yeah, mm -hmm. raise the goats, not the not the parents. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You know what? It, it what we do is we 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 give hope, hope to the caregivers, and and to the individuals themselves. But the caregivers have to know that they're not alone. You know, and and to train them in the proper way to have that hope for tomorrow, mm -hmm. and the joy of. Of, of loving their their individuals you know yeah God. what I think, talking about being siblings what <laughs> advice can you give to siblings 
um, as, and parents who have maybe a sibling that does not have that compassion or feels like all the attention is going to the other sibling. Uh, what, what advice can we, because sibling, sibling ri rivalry is real. Yes, but it is. Can you add this element to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good question for you, Penny. Well, uh, I'll, I'll have to be honest with you. Growing up, my, my mom spent most of her time with my little sister. And um, I, have, I have an older sister that's two years older than I. And her and I, uh, we just started hanging out together and doing everything together because mom was too busy. Yeah. And, uh, and then... We felt when we were older, I mean, high school, like older, we felt like she was being spoiled. You know, they they gave her everything. And they, you know, I mean, we never had that love and attention. And it was hard. We knew mom and dad loved us, but we didn't, we didn't see it as much as they, you know, gave it to her. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, we understand it now, but it was hard. It was hard. So going back to that, how do you think we as parents could be different? Well, you know, you, you've only got so many hours in the day. Mm -hmm. But I think that you really need to let the other kids know, um, I love you with all my heart. You know, I love you just like I love so-and-so. Yeah. Um, what, what, go ahead. What, what would you want to do with mommy today? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Give them you their know, special day. Something like that. You mm -hmm. know, today is your day. What What can we do together? You know? Yeah. It's yeah. Funny. My children are a relay team. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think to them, I said, you pass the trouble button on to each other. Once you finish your leg, you pass it on and the other one starts giving trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what's happening? Yeah, and they're, yeah, right? they're never giving trouble at the same time. They always pass the button. But I love that idea. And one of the things that I do commend Canada for is the support and you know it's funny because when i first came up they were saying oh you need somebody i said no my daughter is independent she can cook you know she keeps her but you know and i said no she she doesn't need the help and then now, now i'm like yeah she doesn't need the help he needs the help but always with me and i then realized that the parity and so one of the things that canada does which is lovely is offer these caregivers Yes. So I will send somebody to your house for an hour so you can concentrate on the other child. Hello. Yep. That's so important. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, if you don't take care of yourself, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> That's a whole different show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sure and, I, and I was guilty of it. I, I'm, I, I admit my fault with that. I was guilty of that. I was constantly giving and giving and giving. And yeah. then I eventually broke. Yes. Yeah. And then there, and this happened. And then especially with a child like my daughter, if I have, a, I break and I start shouting, it has dramatic effects yes. on them, yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, dangerous too. They mm -hmm. hurt, or they, you know, they'll hurt, and I'm like, oh. mm -hmm. and I go, oh, I have, and but you can't always keep it together. No, yeah. it's important for uh, the caregivers too to get the rest that they need. Mm -hmm. because I know when I when I got tired, I was short, you know, and and you know, not a nice person. <laughs> yeah, wow. that's amazing. But I, I love the fact that you're right. So you go on the website. Yep. Mm -hmm. And can you nominate challenge champions and heroes? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. If you know somebody, again, just contact us on our. Uh, on our website, you know, be sure to say where you're from. Mm -hmm. And as new events around the world, we can we can work the nominees into mm -hmm. where we have our events, or we can go there especially at times. So All tell depends. me more about July 29th. What events uh, are you planning? Can you give any secrets? <laughs> well, actually, we're leaving it 
uh, up to uh, the world to respond how they want to. We want we want to see the creativity. Wow. So uh, I, I sent out some logos and some letters and I just hope that people will be encouraged and say, yeah, I want to be a part of this. And mm -hmm. that day we will see all these posts that are going to go up, you know, to like <clears throat> you, Dr. Rebecca, you can put something special about your, your family on there for each of your children. Yeah. Well, I know. Or so a picture. picture. Pardon yeah. me. And the people that helped me along the way, because you yeah. can't, and that's another thing, you can't do this alone. No. Yeah. No. You know? no. You have these partners in your child's children's life, like their teachers, the one teacher that cared and yeah. took time, you know, the principal that didn't kick them out of school because yeah. of the discipline, the doctors, you know. Exactly. You know? There's yeah. so, many, so many people that you can reach out and touch and make their day special, you know, yeah. by doing this. Yeah, and this is, I think she might be watching, but you know, I want to just say hi to Dolly. She's in Jamaica. She, you know, in my when Mackenzie was going to public school, we didn't have shadows and things like that, and she was helping me in the house with my with her, uh -huh. and as she volunteered because she bonded with her so much, and Mackenzie trusted her. She yeah. ended up shadowing and going to school every day with my daughter. Wow. Yeah. You know, and she ended up studying and becoming a practical nurse. And I still t keep in touch with her. And, you know, it's people like that that I could not have lived without. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You know, uh, also, she's somewhere a hero in our eyes. She's a hero in our eyes. Yeah. Oh, I see her there. <laughs> Jacqueline <laughs> Henry. <laughs> yeah, I could oh. my daughter. So, she's my hero. <laughs> Also, somewhere around uh, July 29th, we're also going to do a, a video with all our global reps that we have for yeah. Challenge Champions and Heroes. And we're all going to get together like this in a video chat. And we're going to share the stories of who each one of us have honored and where and, you know, what made them special, you know, what they've, what they've done in life. So we're looking forward to doing that also. That's amazing. And she and she did it. She was like, I, and this is a thing, parents, especially single moms, you know, you do need help. Uh -huh. you know, don't be a, a superwoman and, you know, don't try and do it all your own. Like you said, you need the self-care. You need that day off. Yeah. And, you, and self-care. And you don't want to go through vicarious trauma because – what happens, parents, when you are dealing with so much, Yeah, you go into depression. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. Here's what happens, mommies and daddies. When mm -hmm. you're in depression, that is a childhood trauma on your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah. by you doing that, you're causing trauma to yeah. your children when you're depressed. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to make sure that you are ready for this. And, and let's be honest, God it does not give you more than you can bear. If God gave you this child, he Amen. said you can manage it. Right. You are going to learn from it. Yeah. You are going to be better for it. I would not have had a, my, I had a radio show for eight years in Jamaica on parenting because I had a child that I had. Yes. Right. I saw that. I could access this information because I could I could pay for the doctors. I could pay to go away. I could pay for those things. And I said, how many families in Jamaica could not? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I started my show. Mm -hmm. And this is why this show is happening. You know, it is to be able to access this information for free. Yes. Yes. Right. Just because for, we just want to help. Yeah. yeah. And that's the beauty of it. And that's one thing more with Challenge Champions and Heroes. We look forward to creating a time, a respite time for the caregivers. Mm -hmm. We want to provide a, like a spa day or maybe a day at a hotel to get away just to get their rest and to, you know, have that time for themselves to regroup. So define caregivers because a lot of people might think caregivers are people you pay to take care of your children. <laughs> no, no, no. 
No, these are usually family members. I mean, they can be from outside the house, but most with special needs people, they're family members that are the caregivers. Mm -hmm. And they give 24 24/ 7 mm -hmm. care and attention to their loved ones. Yeah. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> and and so, you said family members. Yeah. yeah. You see, another another thing that Dr. Robin and I have in common is we both were caregivers for our husbands. Mm. Yeah. And they have both now passed. Oh. But uh 24 7. Your, your yeah. ears are open, you know, you're waiting for the next fall, you know, whatever. And 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 it, it just takes a toll on your Very whole emotional. mind and spirit, yes. My mm -hmm. mother actually can't sleep at night because she was so frightened. My father um, had heart disease for 17 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she couldn't sleep at night because she was so afraid of him passing in his sleep. Yeah. yeah. So she didn't sleep. She actually would stay up and watch him breathe. Mm -hmm. And then once he woke up, and thank goodness he always woke up early because he was a farmer, she would then go to sleep. Mm. And she still had, and he has been. He passed away um, eight years ago in August, and she uh -huh. still cannot get on a sleep a proper sleep pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, it's, it's a very real. emotional time. Yeah, it's yeah. a real thing. I mean, and we have to, um, and that's it's just amazing what you women are the two of you are doing, yeah. like taking your life's mission, your life lessons, you yeah. know, you know, the yeah. path that Thank God you. has given you to pass it on to others. Yes, well, uh, the thing, the thing that you just mentioned is we couldn't do this without God's help, yes, right. I mean, it. We just couldn't. Uh, even going through the caregiving part with our husbands, I had to rely on God every day mm -hmm. for strength and a, a, a wisdom to to know what to do and how to take care of my husband. Mm -hmm. And so God is the the big uh, the provider and the healer, and He's our strong stronghold. You know, through all of it gives you the strength that you need. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and waves, and then this is the thing. He's given this path. You know, we have these experiences that at this time we might think is hard, and we we wonder why God. And then once you come out on the other side, you say, "Oh yeah, that's why." Yeah, yeah. yeah. we wouldn't be able to do this show if we never had the experiences we had. That's yeah. true. No, no, that's no. True. You know, we would be like, "Why? Why are we doing this?" We know. Yeah, that Dr. Rivers would say, if you if you make it through the fire, you come out better. Yes. And, <laughs> yep. I, and I say, without tests, you have no testimonies. Right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Thank yeah. you. And, and this is a message from a beautiful woman. I mean, her picture is just gorgeous. You're yeah. all super women and powerful mothers learning a lot from your stories. Oh, thank you so yeah, thank much. Thank you. And Hi. <laughs> she's beautiful. I have to. I'm keeping that up because she's just so beautiful. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a good point. Then you know what would what would be if it, it take two minutes or take five minutes and talk about your message to the world when it comes to challenge champions and aware, the the caregivers and what advice you would give. Oh wow! <laughs> to the caregivers. Ah. Oh. Like it's it's a difficult job, but we just want to give love and encouragement to everybody that's out there that that puts their heart out there every day. And you know, being a caregiver, you they normally have the biggest hearts in the world, you know, yeah. because they are super people, super yeah. women, super men that are able to do this day in and day out. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we just want to give them all the love and encouragement that we can. <laughs> yeah, C kudos to all caregivers. I yes. mean, we've been there and done that, and we know what it's like. And you know, you can email my, email Dr. Robin and I anytime. We'll love to listen and talk to you. Yeah, um, please feel free to do that. We're all alone, and we have the time. <laughs> we have the yeah. time. And we love you, and 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 we know what it's like. Mm -hmm. 
that is an amazing offer because a lot of people watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is an amazing, but that's a genuine, true offer. And, and, and I want to thank you both for that. That's just amazing that you're willing to have. Yeah. And I can tell you, a support group is yeah. the most wonderful. Like, yeah. once you feel you're not alone. Yeah. yeah. Yes. They need to have people that they can talk to and, and rely yeah. on. And, mm -hmm actually ask for help if they need it you know and that's the thing we don't get the help you know yeah. you, you know like is, my children uh, can go over to a friend's house yeah yeah you yeah. know i can't get that day's break i have to arrange for somebody to take my child out or yeah. have, you know that's the thing and not even family members many times do not take your uh -huh. yes yeah yes. Because they don't want, they don't know how, or they don't want to deal, or they, you know, I, we, we got stopped by being invited to birthday parties because there might be a temper tantrum going on or biting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, that's the thing. Jacqueline's like, she enjoyed her years taking care of Mackenzie. She mm -hmm. helped, she did a lot of research on our behalf, and mm -hmm. that was, she was researching right beside me. And that was, I don't know, again, I don't know how uh -huh. I would have done it without her. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I was uh, also a caregiver for, for a 79 year old lady. And mm -hmm. that was the greatest experience for me because we were so different culturally. You know, she's black lady and I'm white. And, you know, she was teaching me how to, to cook greens. And, <laughs> you know, we had a great relationship, you know. And mm -hmm. although I only took care of her for maybe about a year because her health did decline. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was fun. We built a good friendship mm -hmm. and we did things together that, you know, a lot of her caregivers would, wouldn't do. They were there for the money and then get out. Mm -hmm. so, so. Ah, so here's a good question. How, do you, <laughs> how, when you're interviewing caregivers, uh huh, because you're leaving your children with them and I've had some bad ones before Jackie, I, I had some bad ones. Um, how do you know how to, be to find a good caregiver? Is there like an in the phone number? Well, unfortunately, my experience was through the in home health services. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're low income and they're just rotating door with caregivers. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. There you go. Next one. You know, right. they do it by location. And so, you know, unfortunately they do get some bad ones, but yeah. um, to, you just want to look for somebody with that, you know, loves God, loves people, has mm -hmm. a good heart, maybe that they've had experience and they know. Yeah. You know what it's like to, to take care of somebody, you know, or vice That's versa. A one. That's the one I never thought of, to somebody who has had a sibling or has had a, um, a relative and is well aware yeah. of what we're going through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. actually a really good, good. Like experiences, and that would, then that would make a, a stronger bonding period, you know. Yeah, because they they understand what you're going through. Mm. Another question I have for you. Now we 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 spoke, and I, I I'm sorry because of my personal experience, and we went a little of the non-visual. But tell me more about the visual, um, differently challenged, and how we do not show albinism. I know you mentioned the Special Olympics and how amazing it is, but how how can we? You know, you approach somebody in a wheelchair, or you approach somebody who you visually know or you can see is uh -huh. different challenge. How do you approach them or handle them, you know, not, but how do you approach them without insulting? Right. A lot of people right. tend to ignore because they don't know, they don't want to offend and we don't right. want ignoring either. Right. Exactly. It, it's a fine line to learn how to balance because everybody's different with their challenges. So, I mean, a smile, first of all, you, you know, just be nice. <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, you can introduce yourself and say hello and then just see how that other person reacts, mm. you know. Um, it's it's I, always, um, uh, if the person is with a caregiver, you can kind of, you know, look at the caregiver and, you know, is, mm -hmm. can I, 
is it okay for me yeah. to, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But as far as my sister goes, she had, she was scarred all, all over here. It looked mm -hmm. like a, a real bad burn, but mm -hmm. it was actually infected scar tissue. And it, she, it melted her top uh, eyelid off and her mm -hmm. ear and stuff. So she was, she was not easy to look at. And I remember um, walking along the the mall when when we were in grade school, and and even adults would gawk at her. You know, wow. they, what's you know, because she was so different. And and my sister and I would get mad at them. You know, what are you looking at? But mm -hmm. I understand that it's something different, and and they don't see this every day, and so they're curious, mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, you have to just remember that they have a heart and a soul and, a, you know, they're a person inside and they have feelings. So be, be gentle, be gentle. Yeah. So I have a suggestion for those watching who tend to gawk, not yes. out of malice. Right. Just smile and wave. Yeah. yeah. And you can look at the person. Yeah. And smile and wave <laughs> because um, Chris Perry actually made a very good point. Smile with masks are not so easy, but maybe we can draw a smile on our mask. Oh my God, that's, so <laughs> that's a good one. I, yeah. Oh my gosh, because I miss smiling. I, I, I know. know. Feeling my smile, As, you know, <laughs> you know that. Yeah, because even Jack, we gotta do a wait now. Jack, sometimes a little <laughs> smile does it all. I yeah. know. I went to the supermarket the other day and I was smiling at the man so I could get my lamb and he didn't see my smile and I didn't get my lamb. <laughs> like, these masks are not working for me. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss the hugs too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, that, that is hard. hard. And, you know, you go back at that, you know, children who are considered misbehaving or they bite you know look i know i know my daughter she appreciated distancing at a very young age because of autism and so but other kids at two and three don't have social boundaries they haven't learned it yet so yeah. they'd go up and hug her and she'd feel threatened so she would push or you know yeah. and and this is the thing but we always punish the child yeah is reacting to it negatively in the social eye and this is what we need to change cultural identities and right which think, where education comes into play again you know because sometimes we haven't even diagnosed the person the child yet at that age yeah that's no. right that's right my message to people watching on this topic is just like and i'm gonna just like we are all unique human beings yes a differently abled person is no different. No. As unique as we are. Yep. And if we treat everybody like how we want to be treated, yeah. which is yep. civil, which is with civility, a smile, a, a, you know, if a child, I remember that happened and a parent called me and said, I must take the child out. And she tried to get my child kicked out of school. I'm like, but your child keeps coming and don't, you know, tell your child not to go, like, hug my child. Just say hi. You know? Yeah. Be aware and teach so social distancing a little earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boundaries are good sometimes. <laughs> the boundaries, yeah, exactly. exactly. It's always the negative and, you, and we have to stop blaming parents yeah. and making them feel, because that's another problem. When you are, I mean, I was told I was a bad mother. Mm. I was not disciplining enough. I wasn't hitting enough. I wasn't doing this enough. And it traumatized me as, yeah. and it made me question my motherhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all that happened was I just had a child that was different and I had to change my style of parenting. Exactly. You know, yep. and but I needed time to learn that, especially when yeah. teaching it. Yeah, that's right. 
That's right. So be patient with fellow parents and care yeah, yeah. Be patient with caregivers. So we, 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 we praise them and we rejoice them, but also be patient with them. Yeah, that's so true. Amen. <laughs> and that their results are going to come instantly. <laughs> <laughs> So one month to change a behavior just for the record yeah <laughs> so yeah. i want to thank you both for all the work you're doing oh, and thank you. you remind us what are we to do on july 29th one more time i would like to see the whole wide world po make a post on social media either facebook twitter whatever whatever platform you want to use but share something about a, a special needs person that you know or a caregiver, whether it be a picture, a story, a quote, however you want to do it. We leave the creativity up to you. <laughs> and with the hashtag? Yeah, you can hashtag every life is valuable, hashtag challenge champions and heroes. Uh, I've also put my logos out there if you'd like to put that on there. You're more than welcome to use that. We just, it's, it's called Awareness Day because we want everybody in the world to be aware of Challenge yep. Champions and Heroes. What is, um, I love, so just to remind me, what's the other hashtag? Uh, uh, every life is valuable. Every life is valuable. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I, hashtags and me just don't agree, but I'm, you know. I hope it's there right. you go. <laughs> I'm really yeah, not a yeah. hashtag lady. <laughs> I, want to thank, go. <laughs> I want to thank all those watching today. Please share, like, um, pass you, on yes. this video. It stays on Facebook to be rebroadcasted. Re and, you know, uh, hopefully we've helped. I know you've mentioned that we've helped you and given you some information. I hope all the caregivers that are watching out there that has, have gotten a little tidbits and as we say, golden nuggets yes. to continue the amazing work that you're doing. You know, as we say, you know, as Dr. Rivers has passed it on, every life is all 7.8 billion yeah. lives. Yes. Right. Have a purpose and there's a reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pardon? I said in one said, billion special needs, people, every, every life is valuable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. as you said, God does not put anybody on this earth without a purpose. For no, us, no, no. He doesn't make any point. junk. <laughs> Pardon? God doesn't make any junk. No, he doesn't. And 1.1 no. 1. 1 billion people on this earth yes. are just as worthy and are able to teach us a lesson. So thank yes, you. Right. And oh. we want everybody to show that on July 29th. Let's show the love. <laughs> let's show the love. Show the, yeah, so show, show the so love. Just to be clear again, July 29th, post with the hashtags caregivers and challenge champions and their heroes. So you're posting their, the challenge champion and yes. their heroes and celebrating them on July 28th oh Jean, your daughter has mda in a wheel mda in a wheelchair and you are a challenge you have a challenge champion and you have a hero that's yes. right and you are a hero and we are celebrating so make sure to post with the hashtags challenged champions and heroes and hashtag every life is valuable on july Amen. 29th let us show dr lococo and dr penny all the love and support that they are giving to us every day with their advice and please don't forget to go to the website www.challengechampionsandheroes without an e dot com <laughs> <laughs> and and they are even and your email addresses again oh wow she's a musician what does she play what does she play what does she play oh absolutely <laughs> what instrument Jean that is amazing. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everybody has a talent. Every and I think they do. Going back to that, I think that's what I did, especially with my kids, is because they had these challenges, I fought for them to have to find their talents yes. faster. So they had that pride. Saying that, I'm going to hide for two seconds and show you. 
my daughter's oh she does a guitar but writing and writing oh, okay so guitar and writing so i would like to show you my daughter's talent she designed the new family civility institute logo oh yeah it's and beautiful. I'm there so proud. Go. And she's and Jean's daughter's at Stetson University. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, and so my daughter's 16 years old, and she designed the logo for the Family Civility Institute. Good so job. I'm using it today. <laughs> the new yeah. logo. <laughs> Penny, do you have Anthony's artwork handy? Yes, I do. Yeah. The, oh, thank you, Miss. The Gordon. latest young man that we have honored. Um, he has autism and he's an artist and he oh did this God. painting for Penny for her book cover. Oh, wow. yeah. All I need is, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That beautiful. Oh, you see, so, they have their purpose. They have yeah. their purpose. They so sure what we're going to do is uh, put a book together with all his work oh. and we're going to help him distribute that through the art you know, our network and our events and things. Well, I want to thank you both for all the work that you're doing from a care from one caregiver to the other to you. Yes. Yes. So I want yes. to thank you and definitely we are going to celebrate. Let me just put it back up one more time. July okay. 29th. All the best on that day. Thank you for all the work that you have given. Thank and, you. I, and thank you for being a family civility ambassador because that's what it is about what you are doing is showing the universal design for family yes mm -hmm. that and yeah. that's what family civility is it's accepting all families and their members yes Amen. Yes. yes no matter their sexuality their gender whether mm -hmm. they're biological or non-biological and their abilities yes that's right. Right. Thank and you so much for having us. To support and to be civil and to encourage. That's what family is. So thank yeah. you very much for talking family civility with me today. And I wish you all the best. And we'll definitely have, we are going to post, post, post on July 29th. Thank you for yeah, looking forward to going to Jamaica with you. <laughs> yes. Family yeah. civility concert conference is November 12th to 15th. Oh, well, see, I'll remember that. That's my birthday. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for all the people watching and all your amazing comments. Such an interactive yeah. day. And I'll thank see you, you next week on Monday at 4 p.m. when we Let's Talk Family Civility. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Rebecca. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.